Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. Today I'm going to be giving you my tips on how to get 20 solo kills in a game. I do have a couple 20 bombs myself, so I could definitely say I have some experience and, you know, just know what it takes to get one. The gameplay in the background is just me getting 21 solo kills, so hopefully you guys are able to watch my every move, but listen to what I have to say at the same time. So go ahead and do me a huge favor, slap that like button right now because you guys have no idea how much it helps out. And if you want to watch more tips videos like this one or just Apex Legends in general, I try uploading daily content here on my channel so it would really mean the world to me if you guys subscribe to my channel and just decide to stick around. But with that being said, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you guys need to know is that you need to move fast. Every second counts when it comes to trying for a 20 bomb, so it is extremely important to, you know, not waste time. When you drop onto the map, you need to move and look for a gun as soon as you can. Try not to worry about, you know, getting every single arc star or just every grenade in general in your building. Instead, you can be running around, covering as much ground as you can and possibly, you know, finding great armor with an awesome gun combo to start the match. It's also important to take out your opponents as fast as you can. The last thing you want is for a fight to last, you know, a significant amount of time, which may lead to you getting third partied or just simply missing out on kills in the lobby. So you, it is, like I said, extremely important to have that in your mind. You know, you, you have to be aware that you just have to move extremely fast. You have to get out of your comfort zone. You know, this is the whole point. You're going for a high kill game. So you just have to turn on the jets and just keep it going. The second tip that I got for you guys is to spend less time looting. Many things can go south if you just stand there looting a death box rather than, you know, just staying aggressive. You can get shot and possibly get knocked yourself, but most importantly, you'll be missing out on more kills. The whole point is to keep pushing and racking up those kills, not standing around and deciding which gun you want or just stacking up on hella ammo. Uh, just get enough bullets for the next fight and move on because 90% of the time the enemy is going to have the ammo you need. You know, light ammo and heavy ammo is very common, uh, even energy ammo, it's all, it's all common. So uh, don't stress over it and wreck, and wreck up, you know, on 400 heavy and 400 light rounds. Uh, like I said on my first tip, uh, every second matters when going for th 20 bombs. So your main focus is racking up on kills and just keep it going stay aggressive and don't stress over every little thing when looting because like i said you need to go 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 you need to move as fast as you can the third thing is to be aggressive but that definitely doesn't mean play dumb and make silly mistakes that will get you killed i promise you that if you're going for a 20 kill game there's going to be non-stop action and you have to make sure that you're in the middle of it all if you want to get those kills you know there's no time to sit back and snipe all game or just play it a little safe and camp you have no time for that at all you just have to stay aggressive when you see an opportunity push and attack with all you got because you're most likely going to have to do a lot of squad wiping i'm thinking of also making a video on how to successfully squad wipe as well so keep your eyes open and just stay tuned for that but yeah, like I said, be aggressive at all times. You're going to die a lot, but that's what it takes to get better and just fuck shit up in Apex Legends. You have to stay and just be aggressive. Which brings me on over to my fourth tip. And this is probably the most important one, to be honest, uh, but that's just my opinion. A lot of people probably don't think about this one ever, and they probably, a lot of people just lack this in general, and it's to have confidence. What I mean is trust your skills and have faith in your aim. Because if you don't believe in yourself, then I guarantee that you won't even pass the 15 kill marker. If you really are serious about getting this 20 bomb, then you need to lock in and get sweaty because it definitely is not going to come easy. My advice is to go into every gunfight knowing you're better because it'll only make it easier for yourself and you'll come out on top every time. Like I said, trust your skills and focus on hitting your shots. Once you get the first out of three knocked, I 100% I guarantee it's going to make things a lot smoother for you and your quest on capturing uh, that 20 kill badge. So just have faith on everything all around, believe in yourself, just have the most confidence, you know, trust everything and I guarantee you'll do so much better and you'll finally get that 20 kill game that you've been looking for. 
And lastly, the fifth and final tip to get a 20 kill game is to keep practicing. I said it earlier, you're gonna die a lot and you're gonna get pissed off so much. But unfortunately, you know, that's just the price you have to pay if you want that precious 20 kill game. It all comes down to how bad you want it, to be honest. Uh, are you willing to learn from your mistakes? Are you gonna keep practicing and keep trying? Are you going to put in the time and effort? Because if you don't do any of these things, then you're not going to get anywhere and you will never see that 2-0 next to your kill count. I've gotten many 16 and 18 kill games and uh, it would honestly get me so mad because to me, I came pretty close to that 20 bomb. But you know, I would reflect and try to understand what it was that made me fall just short of it. While doing this and practicing, of course, I was then able to finally get my first 20 kill game and trust me when I say it felt so fucking good and just uh, as a competitive person in general being able to successfully pull stuff like this is amazing I've gotten 100 plus kills in Call of Duty and have had a lot of good memories memories with incredible gameplay and clutch moments but none of it would have been possible if I hadn't put in the time and especially the effort to keep practicing and uh, finding ways to take my gameplay to the next level. So just keep trying and use these tips that I've given you to get that 20 kill badge and flex on your opponents. You have to keep practicing. That's all it takes. But that's all I got for you guys, so hopefully you enjoyed. Good luck to all of you guys. I really do hope you guys are able to get it because, like I said, it feels so freaking good. If any of these tips are able to help you out at, to, you know, at least get closer or, you know, just even get that 20 kill game, uh, let me know. It would mean so much to me. Uh, good luck to all of you guys. Like I said, it takes time and effort and practice, practice, practice to get it. So keep trying and don't give up. Uh, and you know don't forget to hit that like button if you if you did enjoy it would mean the world to me and if you're new here to my channel I try uploading daily Apex Legends videos so please consider subscribing and I would appreciate it very much uh, yo so thanks for watching as always guys and I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace